are following several breaking news stories. The first out of Dixon, where two people are dead after an early morning house fire. News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley is on the scene. Cuthbert, what's the latest? Good morning, Vicki. The TBI just wrapped up, press conference, wrapped up a press conference here within the last little bit telling us that a man and a woman were found dead earlier this morning. Let me step out and show you how active the scene still is. You can see that TBI crime scene truck right there. They've kept us back pretty far, but we're talking about that house far down there on the left. That's the house that caught fire this morning and where that man and the woman were found dead. Let's take a look at some of the video from earlier this morning where you get a good glimpse of just how damaged this McFarland drive home is. Windows broken out. The place looks completely gutted. Authorities tell me this is a duplex and somebody living in on the other side of the duplex called 911 around 445 this morning to report the fire. After firefighters were able to put out the flames, they called the TBI once they realized the scene was suspicious. Throughout the morning, as you see there, family members emotionally watched as crews worked to figure out exactly what happened. The TBI spokesperson tells me it could be some time before we learn more about why these deaths are suspicious because they themselves are just getting inside the home to process the scene. We were first waiting for the fire department to come in and finish their job inside. And now we're waiting for our mobile crime unit to come here before our agents are able to go in and uh, access the scene. We've just learned that a child is in who lives in that home with the two people who were found dead. And thankfully, though, that child was not in the home at the time. We are told that child was living with relatives. We'll have much more throughout the morning as we continue to learn more about this beginning this afternoon on News Channel 5 at 4. For now, we're live in Dixon. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Cuthbert. In Clay County, investigators are looking into a deadly shooting. Details are still coming in at this hour, but we understand three people have been shot and two of them are dead. Authorities are not releasing the circumstances of the shootings at this hour. We're working to learn more and we'll have that for you online at newschannel5.com. Over in Macon County, investigators are looking into a murder-suicide. Details about exactly what happened were not available, but officials there tell us a father and son were involved. It's been a deadly morning on area roadways. Highway 49 in Robertson County is closed at this hour after an accident involving a semi-truck and car. It happened around 8 a.m. between York Road and Joe Dowlin Road in Coopertown near the Interstate 24 interchange. The Tennessee Highway Patrol tells us the semi ended up on top of the other vehicle, killing the driver of the car. Fuel was leaking from the truck as well. Both westbound and eastbound lanes are being diverted around the wreck scene. And over at the Rutherford-Wilson County line, the highway patrol says one person is dead after a crash there this morning. Officials tell us a commercial truck hauling hazardous materials crossed the median and struck an oncoming Dodge Challenger around 8.15 this morning around mile marker 61. As you can see, the back half of the car was sheared off from the impact of the collision. The front of the semi was also ripped off. Both westbound and eastbound lanes have been closed in that area as traffic accident reconstruction crews will process the scene. 